Hey, we released a video today about how you could use this website, gradientanimator.com. The link is in the description for how you could create these animated backgrounds. Basically, you would just pick your color. So if I go with something like, well, that's a rubbish color, add color. And then let's pick a, another color, something like that. Hit select and hit preview. You actually have an animated background. You can add this to your sections, your columns, whatever you want, okay? And the colors will merge and blend as they are. I also said that you could apply this to a button as well. Now, what I didn't clarify is that there is one little thing you do need to take account of, and I wanna cover that off straight away. All we do is pick up the code that is generated here, right? We pick the code up. We then go over to where I've just dumped in a button. Now, I am gonna make a point here and put this button in the middle because we are gonna do something which removes what we've just done. And then you have to do something else, but I wanna make a point for what you do. Now in the button, we don't have to do any CSS class name. I'm just, well, you can do if you want, but I'm not bothering. And I'm now gonna dump this code in, but I am gonna get rid of the word dot uh, CSS at the beginning, then just have the word selector. Uh, because, uh, basically it has a dot CSS selector in the code. You don't really need to worry about that, okay? I've just gone for selector. And what we now have is our animated button background. However, can you see the problem? We have a color over it, which is not what the color that you want. So in fact, can I just make a point? Can I just do something? I've just realized this is probably not the greatest example. So let me just go with purple instead, like that. And now let me just take this code. I've just realized my coloring there with um, orange and red wasn't great. Really apologize for that. Okay, let me just pop this in now. Right. This is probably going to be a bit better because you'll get the purple and the red coming through. Great. So we've got a problem that the button is still visible. This is what you do. You go to style. You go to your button color and you make it be fully transparent. Number one. You then obviously do your text color and your styling of your text. Right. We're not here to do that, but let me just put some in anyway, just so we can see the wording. Okay, the second problem, look at the size of the button because it's done the entire background. Right, this is how you get around it. You go to advanced, right, the layout, you go to width and you set this to be custom width. Now we have a custom width button. You can even mess around with the width here or, oops, sorry, let me <laughs> take that off zero. Or you could go to the style of your button and start doing your padding. You know, you would size it accordingly. Let me just undo that. Now the button, even though we set it to be uh, left aligned, sorry, center aligned, it's gone to the left. And it's because of the custom width and the way that works. So all you gotta do is go to your column, go to horizontal align and decide, well, where are you gonna put it? You know, end, center, all of that. So there's a few steps there. We got the code, right? We got the code, we went to the button, we put it into the custom CSS, then I went to style and I, sorry for the button, I went to the style and then I made it a transparent background color. Do your font styling, all of that. In the advanced, make it a custom width. And then for the column, I then made it be a center align. And that's it. Uh, it's pretty quick and easy to do. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game. In your life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win in life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, dish hand me the pack.